temperament, friends, is you compensate in what's wrong with the guitar. So now, finally, you have your dark tranquility shirt, so you, maybe you're not playing like bar chords, or even any thirds and so on, but still, if you want to do this, it's cool. You can, you can sit here if you like, in front of, it's totally cool. If you don't. So, there is no other guitar, <clears throat> unfortunately, around here. Well, it's a fine store and everything, of course you should sell your guitars, but then you should send the neck to Sweden and have it refretted. This one has perfect intonation on every fret. And when was the last time you played an E? Did it sound like this? Never. Anyway, so I'm gonna play and then I'm gonna again show my penis and stage dive for no reason at all. And um, uh, when I play music, I improvise. And sometimes when you improvise, it's turning into, again, scheiße. Uh, and it's okay because I could never travel around the world and sing about dragons and fire. And um, I just couldn't do it. I play exactly the same solos that's on the albums and everything. And, and after solo, everything would turn blue, and the big dragon would come up from behind, and the fan, and my big ugly Swedish Viking hair. Would, ooh, I, I would rather kill myself. So I do improvise and take chances. And sometimes you suck, and it's okay. It's a part of life, you know. Don't be afraid. It will. Most of the stuff with me on YouTube, there are four million clips. It's like, oh God, you know, I, I never watch it because I realize it's from the worst possible angle, of course, and only 500,000 people watch it. The sound is terrible and I play like crap because I'm jet lagged or whatever. And again, it's a part of life. Sometimes you, you can't find your left shoe and sometimes you, uh, whatever, you know, and sometimes you're really good and that's worth to take the chance. So I improvise. Um, when I write music, I always try to find my own moustache instead of having somebody else's moustache, you know, you're like, Hey, I like Indie Malmsteen! <laughs> Whatever. Um, or I look to Steve Vai. And so on. It's like, yeah, it's already been done, you know. Why would you spend a year practicing? Alright. Yeah. Hey, just move it one fret up. Sure, it sounds like shit, but it's your moustache. You just gotta figure out who you are and why you are that way and how to get that through in your playing. So uh, I wrote this song, the first one is called In the Goo of the Evening and it's in B minor for the very dedicated people here. Oh, it's in B minor, great. Uh, low end, that you can play something and it doesn't shit itself in the pan. So many amps when you turn, um, turn it all the way up to 11 and you start to so on, it's, it just collapses, you know, but this one doesn't, it's completely stable, and this is just a 2 by um, 12 cap, so if you buy 14 of this with 4 in them, it's going to be really funny here, <laughs> after you play like a gig, <laughs> so anyway, I improvised and I wrote this song, it has a melody, it goes, say, uh, because you speak French, uh, I couldn't find the moustache of the song, so I need to make it smell Swedish, so what I did is I took the first note and played it as harmonic, by hitting the string, and then I played the rest of the melody on the high E string without choking the melody. sound after Schwede or whatever, you know, Swedish guy. Uh, you have to figure out what your moustache is, you know, maybe you have to pee pee in the pickup or whatever, it doesn't matter, but to have a moustache is to frame your life with something more funny. Yeah, you have a beautiful moustache. There you go, you have a beautiful feet, yes. Anyway, so I'll just uh, play this and this is the only thing I know I'm going to play. The rest may be catastrophic. Catastrophic? We shall see. Oh, it's going to be loud. Here we go.
Um, you turned down the backing track a little bit, that was good. I can't actually hear anything. <laughs> very much uh, freedom for me. I can play pretty much anything I hear in my head just by, you know, going back and forth and looking at the guitar almost like a, a piano, okay, with you can play really big intervals. So. Uh, I'm going to do a song that you can't dance to. Um, it's a, uh, hey, no shit. <laughs> it's, uh, it's a tapping, uh, chromatic tapping song, and it's uh, from uh, an album called Freaky Talk of Road Less Travel, and it's chromatic scale, you know. <laughs> world's greatest chromatic melody. Okay, uh, so what I do here is basically I tap. Just let the hand roll down. And then I stole some chords from Stevie Wonder. He didn't mind, he said. Um, and then uh, the actual backing track is like uh, Slayer on acid. Well, probably on acid all the time, I don't know. Uh, but, and then uh, the lead part is, I use something called a symmetric scale. Which I think, oh, madre mia, can, I, can you give me two seconds? I just need to, I play in a very funny way, so I, I fuck up the pickups. Uh, two seconds. Just find a screwdriver because I want you to have a maximum high fine experience. So I, <laughs> the, uh, the uh, pickup was ripped. Yes, yeah. yes. So I, I don't know what I do, but I do everything wrong and backwards. So um, and this is like a hey, guitar shop kind of. <laughs> you have the screwdriver, the matching cover, and here, take the screwdriver, and you do this. And don't hurt yourself. Do you want the screwdriver? I'll <laughs> sign the screwdriver afterwards. <laughs> I'm such a cool guy. I hate the screwdriver. So, and since it's Saturday, so I don't want to throw out the, the drink screwdriver. Anyway, so, um, so um, yeah, I do a little bit of tapping, and again, the semester is in the, like the Eurovision Song Contest and stuff like that. That would be really a good health mental health kind of improvement, you know. Next year, every song from every country has to be written with the symmetric scale. Oh, ambition, freedom. Sorry, yes, okay. Sorry about that. <laughs> Have you heard Panzer Ballet? I love Panzer Ballet. It's probably the best thing ever happened to Germany. Check out your local band. Panzer Ballet, it's good stuff. I, my German is a bit rusty. I read German in school, but I forgot everything but one sentence. It's really important. I can say, Gleich und die Ecke. And I can also say, Du Dirk Schneider and Weissbeer, but it's not really the same thing. So the only reason I started to do, read German was because of accept and Nina Hagen, believe it or not. So yeah, that was really weird. The French, well, you're not really French, but anyway, <laughs> they, they didn't really have anything as cool as accept or Nina Hagen. So, well, maybe you hate Nina Hagen, I don't give a shit. So. Here's a song called There's No Money in Jazz, and don't try to dance. This one, Circus Music, Slayer, Stevie Wonder, and a bit of Miles Davis. And that together is Matilda Silla, Ben Johannes Eklund.